All right, boys and girls, John Britt here. Hey, we have a complicated thing today, so you got to give me a little time on this one because it takes a while. But this is showing you how to do an Ian Curry systematic uh, glaze blend. And what what the first thing you want to do, if you can, is get his book. It's called Stoneware Glazes, Ian Curry. And in there, he's going to explain how to do everything. But I know sometimes when you look at a book like this, it's complicated, you get scared, so you, you won't do it. But it's, uh, if somebody shows you, maybe it'll be a little easier. Because it's an excellent way, and I have a sample here, of how to uh, systematically look at a glaze across a range. And so what you're doing is varying silica this direction, and you're varying alumina this direction. Alumina meaning kaolin. So the bottom corner is all flux, more silica, more kaolin. And then it shows you a spread of what happens. And you can also do a grid like this. And then you can see in here they call it the eutectic trough where all, all the glazes that are good will be like right here. And then, But you can also see weird glazes and find other glazes you never thought of getting. Okay? So let's come over here. I'm going to show you. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, to get some tiles. So I've, you've got to have 35 tiles because that's what the, what the pattern is. And a marker, so you're going to mark them with numbers 1 through 5, 6 to 10, like that. Okay? The other thing you're going to do, if you want to, is get a, a tile like I had. This is a, a waffle tile, we call it. So I made this waffle tile, I made a mold, I just pressed these. Now, you may or may not have to do that, you may not want to do all kinds of them, so sometimes I just have people get a thing of clay and just make little indentations, so you can make your own sort of waffle tile without this whole plaster system, okay? Alright, the other thing you're going to want to assemble is four cups, like this, quart containers. We need four glazes for each corner, and then we're going to need 35 cups labeled. All right? And then once you do that, you're good to go. Now, the other thing we're going to need is some syringes, because this is called volumetric blending. And so you're going to take a syringe, and you're going to get like 48 milliliters squirted in, 24 milliliters, 36 milliliters, and squirt it in. Okay? So, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your recipe. In this case, I did a Mastering Cone 6 Raspberry. It's in the book. They have a book. It's all over the internet. You can pick your own glaze. But what you're going to want to do is then go Google Ian Curry Calculation Page or Ian Curry Testing. And up will come a page. It's interactive. And you're going to type in all the fluxes. So, in this case... We're going to leave out silica, and we're going to leave out ball clay, because that's our alumina. And we're going to type in Nefsi 18, Whiting 20, and Frit 31, 34, 14, and our colorants. Okay? When you do that, and you press calculate, up will come this sheet. And it'll tell you what your four cups are supposed to be. So it's going to tell you the recipe for cup A. Cup B, etc. And then you're going to mix those up. Now, the most important thing with this is that you have the same amount of liquid in the cup, so the same volume. So I found for this recipe I needed 300 milliliters of water plus my glaze, dry glaze, so that way I had enough fluid to squirt in the cups. Okay? And that's why I have this beaker. I, once I I just pour some 300 milliliters in there, and then you can just make sure everything is exactly the same or close, and then you'll be all set. All right? He also, when you pull on his page, he's got a description too, so you don't have to get his book, but you can uh, re get all, all these um, descriptions right there. Okay, I won't go into all that, but anyway, one of the pages is this one, the most important. It's how to blend this. And so here you have corner A, corner B, C, D, and it'll tell you a number. So for instance, like let's just take one in the middle. This says 8, 8, 16, 16. So, that, so you're going to have 8 of A, 8 of B, 16 of C, 16 of D. 
and that's all you do, okay? So let me just show you how to go about that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my cups to the corner, and I'm going to just get this piece of paper, and I'm going to read here. Now, I won't do this um, super... You're going to have to hang on one second. I have to get a brush. Sorry about that, but we have to stir these. You have to keep them well stirred. And this one too, sometimes I'll just have them sitting there with a, with a cup, uh, I'll have a brush in each cup. So this one says, says 48. So I'm gonna pull this syringe up to 48, squirt it in. My second one says 36, pull it in, 24, Put it in, 12, and nothing. Now I would do my second row, it's supposed to be 40. I'll do, I'll do, what I usually do is I do one cup, the entire, everything for one cup, then I will do the next cup. This cup is supposed to have 30. This cup, 20. So you can see how there's a pattern happening here. 20, 10. And my next one would be 32. Okay, it's also fun to have a friend with you so that um, in case, you know, somebody can be telling you what to do as opposed to, and make sure you don't make a mistake. So 24 like that. So that, that's probably enough. You got the basic idea. So, you, so I'm going to finish up my entire cup C. This is the total flux corner. All flux here more kaolin, more silica, and I just follow my sheet, okay? Well, that seems completely clear, <laughs> but when you do it, you will end up with something like this. Now, what? this isn't always the same on this alumina silica grid it, because it depends on what's in your flux. If your flux has nephsi, that's got some alumina and silica. If your flux has mainly frit, then it, you're going to have a lower one. So it's going to shift around here a little, but basically it's showing you is it's between these two points, uh, these two alumina points and these two silica points, and it varies it. And what the good part, the reason I also like standing tiles is because then you can see how they work on a, on a vertical and horizontal. Now this is the original glaze right here, approximately. And then so you can see how it just does a spread all around that. And then you can see, oh, with not much silica and alumina, it's all bubbly and pinholey, blistery. Whereas as you get too much, then, then this is really dry and unmelted. And, and the same thing here, this has got so much kaolin that it's cracked like this. Or it's got uh, a lot, this is the most silica and kaolin and least amount of flux of all of them. But it's a gray, like, uh, aluminum makes dull color, so you can see that. Okay? So let me show you another one I did here. This was called, uh, I did the copper red, uh, silicon carbide red recipe from the book. Super nice glaze. And it, it, so I would get this print out. I would just do my four corner glazes, squirt them. And then I fired it. So then when you look at this, you can see uh, interesting things. This is called sodium blue. It's very nice blue with copper. And then um, these are on porcelain, by the way. And you can see it, you're not getting a lot of the, the red here. It's probably dissolving it and melting it. Uh, but here, it, this is the original glaze. That's what it normally would look like. Uh, also, you got to remember application changes the way things look. So this could have been slightly thin on application, but still, you get the idea. But then, as you start seeing this, you say, "Oh, this glaze. Maybe I like this glaze. It's a slightly more kaolin, uh, or maybe over here. You know, this one's actually an interesting looking one. So you can find all kinds of unexpected results with this method, and it can help you understand a, a way to systematically test." Um, 
through using the Unity Molecular System to help you understand glazes. All right, today I'm going to only have you do two of these because they're kind of difficult. All right, 